Hey guys, I'm James with Lot Hill. I'm going to show you a quick video on how to use the reorder report within Cash Footprint. If you haven't already, bam that subscribe button, click the notification bell. I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos on how you can get the most out of Cash Footprint. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Reorder report for Cash Footprint point of sale. There's a couple things you're going to want to take a look at first before we get started, a couple setup things. Uh, let's go to the tools menu, go to options. On the terminal tab, you have the option to show or hide the current on hand while you're selling items. Here's the checkbox for that. And this is something that is useful for some folks. You know, if it's too much on the screen, then you can always turn it off. And I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, then click on the business tab. Here's another option for show stock alerts when sold. This is used when the system is low on inventory or out of inventory, basically it's less than zero. Um, the system will alert you, it'll say, hey, you're out of this item, are you sure you wanna sell it? And you can say yes or no, it will add it, that type of thing. So um, those are the two options to be mindful of. And I'm gonna ring up an item here so you see what I'm talking about with the on hand column, there it is. And here's the item in orange because there are only 10 on hand. My minimum for this item is 12, my max is 24. Um, so this would show up on the reorder report. Normally an item that is not low is going to look something like this. So the, the grid itself is usually green and white and the selected item is blue. Uh, when it's low or uh, out of an item, then you're going to see that it's going to be orange or light orange if it's selected. So you'll know. And uh, if you have your screen smaller, something like this, then you can remove by unchecking that on hand column in the options. That way you have more real estate for your description and that type of thing. You can hide a couple other columns too. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and void this and we'll go into the manage menu and inventory. And I'll show you what the setup for the item looks like. I'm just gonna search for one, two, three, four. Um, the tracking is tied to this particular option as well. So if you have update on hand after transaction, if you have that checked, then the on hand for the given item will increment. So, or decrement, depending on, you know, if you're selling or refunding, that type of thing. So it will adjust accordingly when you do a transaction. Um, and then on the order slash sell tab, could be called ordering. Uh, you're gonna see the minimum and maximum for that particular item. So you can specify a minimum on hand and a maximum on hand. That way, as you're selling, the system will know, hey, you're at or below, I'm gonna show this item in orange. I'm also gonna show it on the reorder report if you have this option selected. Now you also need to make sure you have a max established. So it can't be zero. If it is zero, it won't show up on the reorder report regardless of this checkbox. So um, you need to have that set to something other than zero. Otherwise the system says, hey, you're not really tracking it. So we're not gonna show it. Otherwise you're gonna have a report full of items you're not tracking. Um, so that would just be a lot of dead space information kind of stuff. So. Um, set that to usable numbers and then what we can do is go run the reorder report and reports inventory reorder report and you can run it by a few different options list by SKU is pretty handy if you just want to run it and get it done uh, and you're not concerned with like grouping by vendor that type of thing um, and it'll show you the SKU on hand max in stock and then the quantity to order this quantity to order that's the difference between the max and what you have in stock so uh, make sure you do all your receivings before you run this. That way you know you have an accurate number. Um, so keep that in mind too. Uh, and you can see in this case, I have one, two, three, four. I need to order 14. Uh, if you want to run it by vendor, you can. And you'll need to make sure you have your attributes set up. So if you go to inventory, and I'm going to search for one, two, three, four. It's my item. I'm going to select my attributes tab. And in here, you see category and department. To track by vendor, you need to add another group called vendor. This is how you do that. Click um, configure attributes, click add, select the group of none. This is gonna make sure that it's a high level group, like department and category. Type in vendor, the other vendor, hit save. Now that that's highlighted, click add. The group will be vendor and we'll add all our sub vendors. So vendor one, save, add, vendor two, save so now i have a couple of vendors in there i'm going to come back to the inventory screen and you'll see that this list has been updated now you can select that particular vendor highlight your item click edit or you can double click your item and then choose 
your particular vendor and hit save. I have another item in here too, three, two, one. And I'm gonna adjust this one to vendor two. That way you can see what the report looks like when I run it by vendor. I'm gonna close and come out to the reports menu, inventory report. And for a vendor report, this is specifically department category. So not gonna help you in a vendor case. Run the custom group by attribute. Uh, if you do attribute level grouping, this is going to go down the entire tree of all the attributes, category, department, vendor, anything else you have, subcategories, all that. It's going to do the whole tree. So in your particular case, when you're running a vendor specific list, click on custom grouping. And then from the attribute group, choose vendor. Okay. This will make sure that the report is only grouped by vendor. If you wanted to get a little more granular, say vendor and then department, you can do that. Um, or if you want to do, if I move that up, then it would be department, then vendor up to you how you want to do it. But if you're running a report for your vendors to see what you need to reorder, this is going to be sufficient. So, um, do it that way. And then report columns do, I'm going to sort it by skew and then hit next. This is the report that spits out for that particular set of options. So stretch this over. So we've got it grouped by vendor. And you can see for vendor one, I have one, two, three, four, and I need to order 14. Vendor two, I have three, two, one, got to order 12. Pretty straightforward. Now, this list will get long because it does show all of the vendors. If you want it to only show um, the vendor or print, maybe you're going to print this out so you can do your, your stock polls or checks or whatever. Um, what you can do is double click on the vendor heading and that will display a report only for that particular vendor. Then you can print that out and it'll only be, you know, a couple pages, maybe, um, because it's only for that vendor. So that's what I would do in that particular case. To close it, you use the little close current view X up here. It'll bring you back to the main report. You can also hit the main report tab too. Um, if you need to search, uh, you can do that. Use the um, binoculars up here and just type in what you want to search for. We'll do vendor two. Hit find next, there it is. Cancel and double click. Now you've got the report only for vendor two. Super simple. Uh, so if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out. We'll talk to you soon, thanks. All right, thanks for checking out that video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions, maybe an idea for another video, feel free to let us know in the comments below. We're gonna be releasing a lot more content, so bam that subscribe button, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Do you feel the pressure?